Okay guys, I am excited to show you the infinity shower that I've been working on. Um, in our travels, whether we're in Mexico or we're in the Bahamas on our sailboat, water consumption is always one of the hardest things about living off grid. And being able to have a hot shower really is just out of the question for a lot of people. Um, unless you have massive water tanks and a lot of energy to heat up the water. This system allows you to recirculate less than one gallon of water continually. The water goes through a, um, through a filtration system and then through a heat exchanger to heat up the water. And you only use one gallon. And the other beautiful part about it is you are reheating already warm water. So that's another energy efficient way to have a longer hot shower. So I just want to show you guys um, how it works real quick and um, show you the backside of it and kind of how we installed it in, in our van. And we're hopeful that we can really install this in any van that has this size shower and a six inch partition wall. Um, the unit is only about 18 inches by 18 inches and it works great. So here we go. So one thing to note is it has a control panel. Um, there's several different controls here, and I'll talk you through them. So first, we're gonna turn our shower on. And initially, it's important for us to make sure we have the main pump on. This is the water pump for the entire van. By turning the shower on, right now, the default is to have the shower drain plug closed. And you can see that there's some water collecting here. So I'm gonna open up the shower drain plug, and that is the second, or the second from bottom. So by opening this, we're going to drain the water from the pan. There we go, water is draining from the pan. So this is simulating, I'll turn it off for a second. That first part is really simulating taking a fresh water shower and getting rinsed, all right? So now let's pretend that you're rinsed and you've soaked up and you're clean at this point. And you maybe you used, you used 30 second shower, you know, quick. Uh, maybe you used like two gallons of water, okay? So now I'm gonna close this drain. This drain allows the water to go into the gray water tank, but we're gonna close that. And we're gonna fill up our shower pan again with the standard shower. At this point, the water is filling up this drain, and I am going to turn on the infinity shower. Infinity pump just got turned on, and it's priming. I'm gonna turn this off, and we'll let the infinity do its work. This shower head also has multiple settings, so I'm gonna let it run here. The temperature coming out of the shower head is very similar to the water that's being pulled from the drain. But once we turn the heat pump on, we're able to transfer the heat from the hot water heater to the recirculating side of the shower. The beauty of the system is that the water isn't contaminated, but only the heat is transferred. The other great part is the warm water that's going down the drain only needs to be reheated by a few degrees as it comes out before it comes out the shower head. This way, it's a super energy efficient process. So I wanna show you from the back side how it works. And so the water that's being recirculated is going into a strainer first, then a pump, then a spin down filter, a heat exchanger, and back out. Um, our system, has the shower mixing valve located right here. And that's the same as that mixing valve there. And then the water that goes out of the recirculating aspect goes up and that comes out of the port right there. Um, one cool option is the spin down filter. You can drain the entire system by opening this up. And you can clean, not only clean your filter, but also drain your shower. So you'll see here, hear that gurgling, water is being completely drained from the shower. And the beauty of draining the water from the shower, I'll turn it off now. Lily. The beauty of draining the water from the shower is that 
you're not sharing your water with um, your spouse or your van life partner, and you're not reusing the water from last week's shower over and over again. This system completely is drained in between showers. Maybe there's, you know, maybe 20 milliliters of water left over, but there's very little left over. And now that you've drained the water from the shower pan, we can now continue the very last bit to get another rinse if you desire. And now you've washed off all of the recirculating water. You could re-soap up, but the beauty is you could have taken a, you know, a shower for 30 minutes and only used the water from the beginning that was fresh and using water at the end to rinse yourself off. But in the middle, you're just recirculating that one gallon. Um, the other valves on here, the other valve here. So. I'm gonna open up the shore drain again. So down below, we open this up and now the water will leave the system. And if I hit this gray open, we will dump our gray water tank. And there you have it. Um, something I'm pretty stoked about and um, looking forward to van life in the future with the recirculating shower. It's gonna be a lot different than um, being forced to take little little sponge baths or um, not shower at all. So, yeah.